guys, it's Stormland from Brando LG, aka Lucas Brandon, and today we are going to be doing a let's a top ten on top ten Super Mario 64 stars. Um, so be prepared for a lot of bad stuff. I mean, trust me, this isn't gonna be pretty. <laughs> anyway. Without further ado, let's get to the countdown. Number 10. Du, 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 du. Can the eel come out to play on Jolly Roger Bay? Straight into the star? Whee! Oh, wait, no, I don't run. Um. So, um, the only way to get the star is to hover over the eel for a little bit. But. It's 100% bull. I mean, he just waves it around, and the star on his is on his tail. He waves it around like a dog just saw a cat, and then before you know it, you don't have enough air to get back up, so you're gonna drown. I mean, I have one health right now. <gasps> okay, okay, um, yeah. Um, so you hover over him, and then you have to have perfect timing. Like, um, the one I just did, the shot I just did, like, almost killed me, and basically you got over him, or else you're just gonna die like that. Yeah, so, um, that's how you get, can the eel come out to play? Number nine. Blast to blast to the lonely mushroom on tall, tall mountain. So what you first have to do for this, first locate the bomo, which is right here in the most obscure place in the world. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Well, you better. I've already had the cannon prepared on this level, so um, no biggie. Um. Get out of my way, Goomba. Um, then you have to teleport from the tiniest mushroom, which is um, the one of those two tiny um, left, which can be hard to do. As you can see, I just failed. And then if you can just about see that um, thing in the bottom right-hand corner, that's where the mushroom teleports you. And... It takes you to the cannon, which is located right there. And the platform gets tinier and tinier. Then once you go in the cannon, you realize you only have one shot at getting it. If not, you have to go through the entire freaking process again. That's the obscure way of getting this star, which is also the proper way. But you see how I was quite, kind of like flying right then? Um, you have to hop on the shy guy near the log, and that's the easier way of getting that star. However, that can still be tricky to pull off. So, boo for this star. Number eight. Wall kicks will work on Cool Cool Mountain. So, for one thing, you think, well, what, what the heck of a kind of wall kicks is they, are they talking about? I mean, seriously, that's one of the most obscure parts. But then you realize that um, it's probably the area you haven't been to on this level yet. That area, right over there. Can you see the trees? So first, you have to talk to Bobo, which is really difficult to get you. Oh, stop that crap, Bomo. Then, you see the cannon prepared right here, and you realize you have one shot at this. If you miss, you have to go through this again, yada, yada, yada. And, oh my god, I made it. And then there's stuff that's not so important. Um, now, um, once you've gotten to the main area, you have to, like, the first wall kick is the easiest thing in the world. Like, you don't even have to wall kick, it's so easy. But the second one... Oh, jeez. So, um... The only way you're able to do the 
the second one is, without cheating, is a triple jump, but that's just insane. And you don't always even get there. But the easier way is to do a side flip and the and wall kick, like... Okay, and then the platform to the star is, is right there, but it's just so tiny is the problem with this star. Juliet, what are your thoughts? Yeah, and it's ice. So, boom. Um, free flying for eight red coins on shifting sands land. Now, I purposely put this low on the list because it isn't that hard, but in the most obscure place ever. You need to go, you need to backtrack from the start and it's so dangerous because that shifting sand is instant kill. And it gets thinner and thinner. It's just crazy. You know? So you need the wing cap for um most of it. Like a lot of them are located in midair, but I just died. So um you have yourself, and that is number seven. Number six. Du -du -du -du. S um, Big Boo's Balcony on Big Boo's Haunt. So this, this star is going to be the last one I do, but basically... So actually fighting Big Boo and getting to his balcony isn't really hard, but it's a matter of getting to the star. So you realize that the star floats to the top and you have to jump long jump from one side of the roof to the other i made it look easy but trust me it's not it's just this is the easiest level in the game for me i think a lot of you disagree with that um so yeah this star is just you know poop so that just about rounds up wraps up this video i actually am going to be doing Part two, um, a different time, because I can only upload such short videos. So, I hope you enjoyed the first half of my top ten, and I will see y'all later. Bye! Peace out.